So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a powerful ancient tonic that dates back to medieval Europe when they were dealing with serious diseases and epidemic like the plague, for example. And once it's made, this, is gram this works against gram positive and gram negative bacteria, which basically means that the bacteria that normally is resistant to antibiotics, this will help to kill them. Now, it's an anti-inflammatory, antifungal, it's an expectorant, it helps with nasal decongestion, it helps clean the blood of toxins, it helps strengthen your immunity, uh, helps you to uh, burn fat, uh, and it warms you in the winter. So it has a lot of uh, positive uh, effects on the body and your health. It is vegan and vegetarian friendly, so nobody has to worry about that. And it's normally made as a tincture in alcohol. I first learned it with my herbologist studying in Thailand, and what he would do is put it in alcohol, but it's a lot more user-friendly in simple apple cider vinegar, and you could take it on a daily basis with a, uh, as a tablespoon, or if you're getting sick, more. I don't know if it you know, works well with the plague, because luckily we don't have to deal with that anymore. But what I do know is when somebody has a cold or a flu or something like that, or they have a weak immunity, and I offer this to them, it does wonders for them. So it will stop a cold time, it will, it will hopefully stop that before it happens, and many things like that. So as always, with all these ingredients, I'm gonna go through each one of them and the benefits of each. Go with organic because what we're doing, one of the things with this is clearing the toxins out of your intestines and your blood. So you don't want to add more toxins in it that your body has to clear out. So uh, first we are going to start with garlic. And garlic is a wonderful herb. It is antibacterial. It's known as the poor man's penicillin or my, as my herbologist would say, the smart man's penicillin. And it destroys any antigen, pathogen, and harmful disease causing microorganisms. And unlike chemical antibiotics that kill your friendly bacteria that your body needs, garlic's only goal is to kill bad bacteria and, and that encourages a healthy level of bacteria. And add about a half a cup of garlic to it. Next we're gonna use onion which has a similar profile as garlic, just much milder, and the two of them work very well together as a duo. Next, we're gonna add horseradish, which is a very powerful herb, and people normally use this for digestion, but it's very good with nasal decongestion. Anytime somebody has a clogged up nasal passage or something like that, this works very well for that. It's great for any sinus or lung infection. It helps open those airways up and increases circulation. Now you can get this at most health food stores or ethnic markets, and we're gonna use about a half a cup of this, and we're going to grate it. You can just use a simple cheese grater for that. And next we have ginger. Now, ginger is one of my favorite herbs, along with turmeric, which we're also gonna have in there. And ginger, is great for any stomach issues or nausea, but it's also a very powerful anti-inflammatory and it's strong circulatory stimulant that helps to promote the general healing and starving off of many diseases, including cancer. It's great to help improve digestion and it works really great against cold and flu and many more things. We're going to use a half a cup of ginger and you could either chop it up or grate it in the cheese grater as well. Next we have turmeric, which cleanses infection and reduces inflammation, and it is proven to be as effective as 14 different drugs. Turmeric helps to fight against cancer and prevents dementia. It's especially useful for those who struggle with joint pain and helps even against depression and autoimmune disease. It helps against premature aging, it helps to fight candida, and many other conditions. We're gonna use about four thumbs worth of these. The only thing to be careful of with turmeric is that it makes your fingers and your nails turn orange and anything else you touch with that. Next we have habanero peppers. Now, both habanero and chili peppers are very powerful circulatory stimulators along with cayenne pepper. They have huge health benefits to prevent diabetes, anti-inflammatory, and they help lower cholesterol and high blood pressure. But what's great about these is they're adaptogenic, meaning they adapt to what your body needs. So they're like antibiotic heat-seeking missiles that go after exactly what bacteria is bad in your body or what other, whatever other toxins you might have that uh, is better off removed. So we're gonna use about four of these. And you wanna wear the gloves as well because they could possibly burn your fingers. And next we have cayenne pepper. 
along with other peppers, but especially cayenne, it's a catalyst. So what it, what that means is it, it makes other herbs more effective in your body, it makes them more bioavailable, and uh, it helps them to do their job. Cayenne pepper also has so many benefits. Just to name a few, it's anti-cold and flu agent, it's anti-inflammatory, it's a great detoxifier, it helps against migraines, it's a digestive aid, it's anti-allergen, it's good for your heart, and so many other things. Now, these are just the herbs that I'm going to add into this one, but if you're making this on your own, you could decide to put any type of other herbs that you like into it. You can even put things that, that will make it taste better as well, such as uh, lemon peel or uh, rosemary or thyme, something like that. Um, we are going to put all of this in an apple cider vinegar. And if you don't know about it, apple cider, apple cider vinegar has huge benefits as well. I take a tablespoon of this every morning first thing so that it coats my stomach and creates an alkaline environment for uh, my body to absorb the nutrients as well. It helps with digestion. This is actually a probiotic, so there's good bacteria in here. But just to name a few of the things that this will do for you is it's great against constipation and headaches, arthritis, weak bones, indigestion, high cholesterol, diarrhea, eczema, sore eyes, chronic fatigue, it helps against mild food poisoning, hair loss, weight loss, high blood pressure, obesity, and so many other health problems. So let's get started. The one thing you have to be sure of that is all the dry ingredients are beneath the surface of the apple cider vinegar. After you have all your ingredients in the jar, just close the jar tight and shake it up well. Now you're going to put this cabinet or something out of the sunlight and about room temperature for at least 14 days. And you're gonna stir it or shake it up every day. Since it's fermenting, you're gonna to wanna to burp it as well. So don't just shake it and keep leaving it there over the top and let some of the uh, carbon dioxide that may form in there out. Then after about 14 days, depending on how soon you need it, if you get sick or something like that, you can uh, start spooning it out of there or you can take all the ingredients out and strain them through a metal strainer. Now be sure to squeeze them all out or you could leave it in there longer. Like I usually leave mine for a couple of months in there. I just have an eye on how gunky the or soft the ingredients in there might be getting. And you can also use the ingredients in many other things. So you don't have to throw them out. I put them in the refrigerator and you, and you can keep the, uh, the liquid that's left over out for a long time. Now, what will you cook with these? You could put it in salads. You could, they're great in soups, lentils and quinoa. You can put it with other types of beans, with pastas. You can uh, make egg dishes with it. You can put it in uh, spring rolls or stir fry it, other vegetables. There's so many different things you can do with it. You could even put it in a, like a make a health immunity boosting Bloody Mary with that. A word of caution with this, let's talk about how much you uh, should want to take or how you can use this. It is extremely hot. So you're going to want to have a coconut oil, a tablespoonful of that, or a tablespoonful of, of honey on standby, especially the first time you take this, because you don't know how your body's going to react to it. And uh, some type of healthy fat that you can put right in your mouth if it starts burning you. Now, if you can handle it, you can gargle that if you have a sore throat or something like that, and it will help to kill the bacteria that's bad in your mouth uh, or in your throat that's causing you problems. And if you want to have uh, something that's just gonna boost your immu immunity and help to prevent colds, you can take a tablespoon of this first thing in the morning. You can, if you're fighting more serious infections, you can work your way up to taking a small glass of it. If you're fighting uh, some type of uh, disease or something else, and you wanna add this into the mix of other things that you're doing, you can take five to seven tablespoons for a full of it all throughout your day. So there's a lot of different uses for it. Because these uh, ingredients are all natural, they, you can use it with children as well, but I would just dilute it a little bit or give them less. And there are many different things on my site to uh, help you against cold and flu. There's supplements that you can take to help build your immunity and to help avoid that. There's herbs, there's essential oils, there's blogs on all these different things. And there's also blogs on what happens when you do get sick. You wanna be proactive with that 
and take something right away to prevent it from getting any further. And, and if you do that, it will help it go away quicker and reduce the time that you will be sick. So I hope this works well for you and good luck.